my dwarfism, Marcus syndrome type A, is very rare, is every one in 200,000 births. It leaves me to be three foot tall. Life has been different. My relationship with my brother is really amazing. We're just two peas in a pod. My biggest motto in life, don't even try and stop me. This is my scooter. My grandfather lowered the handle and lowered the seat so that I could just plop myself in it. Hi, my name is Carly Runke. We are at my home in New Jersey. And what was the other question? <laughs> my biggest motto in life, don't even try and stop me. My dwarfism, Marcus syndrome type A, is very rare, is every one in 200,000 births. It leaves me to be three foot tall. We were in the mix of redoing the kitchen. My parents uh, were nice enough to add the kitchen in for me so I could reach and make things myself and pour myself a drink when I want one. The biggest thing that affects me is when people talk down to me. Because yeah, they see I'm three foot tall, but obviously I'm a woman. I don't look like a toddler. I don't dress like a toddler. Or when they use the word midget, a lot of people in the little people world refer to the, the M word. It's just a very negative word. This is actually the weekly infusion medicine that I get each week. My nurse comes and she puts these little bottles into a bag and I get my enzyme replacement therapy. Life has been different. I just know how to deal with it and live with it myself. I've had surgeries. I do enzyme replacement therapy. I do what I have to do. I take care of myself. Growing up, it was definitely different, you know. We always wanted to make sure that my siblings, their stuff still came first. You know, make life normal. Um, I've had stares. My siblings know that this is what happens. And you know, when you see someone add the ordinary, people are gonna look. My relationship with my brother is really amazing. He's someone that always include me and pushes me to be my best. We're four years apart, so early on, you know, I, I didn't really notice any differences. And then the first time that it probably really hit me was when she had her first major surgery when she was two and a half. I guess that was the first time for me that I realized like things were different. As she got older and we started going to like her National Little People events and things like that, it became a very cool thing because we got to see this whole other world that most people are not exposed to. We're just two peas in a pod. I couldn't ask for a better brother. So, Miss Carly. Yes. We're going to try in a couple of dresses today. Okay. What do you think of this? I like them. I've done a lot of fashion shows. When they first met me, they were like, Oh my gosh, I don't know what kind of dress I'm gonna put her in, because you know, I'm three foot tall, that's, you know, we gotta alter things, make things look right up my body. All right, Miss Carly, you ready? Yeah. All right, let's see what you think of this one. What would you give this on a one to 10? I'd give this an 11. An 11? <laughs> we love that confidence, don't we? Yeah. Is this slit too high? It's no. not high enough. It's not high. <laughs> You could always do a silver or a black shoe. Either would work. Probably black. Yeah, you want to do black? Okay, perfect. Hey, Ed, we need your help. About 10 years ago, Carly came into my shop. My first thought was, wow, this is going to be a challenge. That was the first five minutes. What has happened since then has been an amazing friendship. I always tell her she is my biggest, littlest inspiration. I would say I was a little protective. She had like some bullying issues, um, typical kids picking on somebody that's different. So I felt like I always would like try and have like my friends keeping an eye out for her, different people keeping an eye out for her in school. I have, you know, a little bit of a gut here because my organs are the average size of another 25 year old. It all got to, you know, push down to here. So sometimes I'm just like, oh, I look like, you know, I look like I'm pregnant or I look like I'm fat. but. You know, at the end of the day, I try to, you know, see the positive. When I was in kindergarten, someone called me a uh, chicken nugget, and I was very offended by that. Now I think it's funny, but five-year-old Carly was not okay with it. If you're watching this, hi, chicken nuggets right here. I'm excited about doing a catwalk. Hopefully the weather stays nice. Walking on a runway and getting dressed up makes me feel more confident. 
Carly just can never blend because of her size, even with little people, because she is about a foot smaller than your average little person. Beauty comes in all sizes and shapes, and Carly is the perfect example of that. She brings in a very positive attitude for somebody that has had a lot of setbacks in life. Day to day, I'll use that as encouragement for myself. Today was a really exciting day. The dress shop is always a great experience. Kat and Brandon always put me in the best dresses and I'm very fortunate for that and they always make sure I look my best. She's very inspiring and encouraging. We kind of just feed off each other's energy to be better. Um, definitely one thing that was a little bit more difficult walking on the boardwalk with walking in heels. As you can tell, the heels are off. That is not happening right now, but the show still goes on. Be yourself, be 100% who you are. If you want to walk the runway on the boardwalk, walk the runway on the boardwalk. I just did that, and I don't care who saw me. I love me for who I am. Mm -hmm.